This video is going to talk about piecewise and step functions. So piecewise and step functions. If you know how to graph lines using linear equations, then this shouldn't be all that difficult. It's a little tricky at first, but once you understand that what we're really doing is just graphing multiple lines in one graph, that's all piecewise and step functions really are. So let's start with an example here. Remember that f of x is the name of a function but it's also just our y, our output um, if we input x. Whatever value we input into our function, our output will be the, the f of x or y, really is what it is. So either one of those, any way you want to think about it, equals. And when we talk about piecewise and step functions, we're talking about multiple lines, but I'm going to do it one at a time. Okay? So we know how to graph y equals x minus 1. We start at negative 1, that y-intercept, and we use our slope, which is that invisible 1 in front of the x, and we use our slope to plot other points on our graph. And when we're doing piecewise or step functions, it's always best to give a, a really good representation of that line, something that really takes up the majority of the graph. Um, and then we're going to talk about the limits of this line, or the constraints of this line. Basically, where this line begins and ends. So it's, it is this line, this x minus 1 line, if, if x is less than 0. So if the values of x anywhere on the x-axis are less than 0, then we're going to have this line or this line will be um, exist in existence, it will exist if x is less than 0. So um, another way to think about it is in domains. So x values are domains. So at the domain of this line, um, if it's in between, or if it's up to right here, and as far that way as we want to go, then the line exists. So all of these points that are greater than 0 don't exist on this line. So we got to take them away. So this line doesn't exist greater than 0. It only exists less than 0. So if you remember uh, open circle and closed circles, open circle means that it's up to that point. So it's up to 0, but not including 0. So our line goes all the way up until it almost reaches zero, but doesn't include zero. And it continues as far in that direction. Um, pretty much infinity as far as this, this is talking about. If it's less than zero, it could go on forever, as long as it's less than zero. Okay, let's talk about another line that's in my piecewise function. So this is all one function, but it's represented by multiple lines. Um, let's do negative x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 0. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll, we can graph that. y equals negative x plus 2. We know how to graph that line. We start at positive 2 on the y-axis. And we go down 1 over 1. Down 1 over 1. Down 1 over 1. And we can do that for a little bit there. But this line only exists for values that are greater than 0. So it doesn't exist over here. It only exists to the right of 0 on the x-axis. And it also includes 0. So we're going to make sure that this is a closed circle. And then just continue this line in this direction. All right. So those are, that's an example of piecewise functions. It's more than one line together on the same graph with limits or constraints in its domains. So this line exists to the left of 0, or if x is less than 0, 
and this line takes over when we cross zero um, or start at zero and go to the right on the x-axis. All right, let's see if we can talk about um, a step function here. Let's get a new graph going. So again, it's using the same sort of description here, f of x equals or y, however you want to think about it. Um, and it's going to equal, when we talk about step functions, let's label it here, step functions. Step functions are always just uh, horizontal lines, basically. So they're y equal equations. y equals 2 or y equals 3, those are horizontal lines. Um, so that's what we're going to see a bunch of right now on the same graph y equals negative 4. So this is what we're trying to think about. y equals negative 4. If you remember that a y equals a number equation is a horizontal line, then you know that it's telling you where the horizontal line is. Well, it crosses the y-axis at negative 4. So it's a horizontal line that goes through negative 4. And I'm just putting random points on the same line here because I don't know what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of yet. It's going to be this horizontal line if, um, let's say, if x is um, less than or equal to negative 2. So looking on the x-axis, for values that are less than negative 2, that means we're talking about things that go this way, right? So this line only exists if it's less than negative 2 or if it's equal. So we're going to put a closed dot there and draw this horizontal line or make it exist when the x values are negative 2 or less than that or to the left of negative 2. Um, okay, so piecewise functions are more than one on one graph, so we got more to do here. So y is negative 2 if... Um, oops, sorry, let me erase it. If um, the x values are in between negative 2 or positive 2. So starting at negative 2, I'm going to have a horizontal line at negative 2. I'm going to have my y equals negative 2 line. Starting at negative 2. Um, and I, oops, I messed up. Why am I including both? I don't want to include that one. So since we included negative 2 right here, we can't have two lines including the same value. One has to be an open circle at that point. So our horizontal line at negative 2 is open, but does not include negative 2, but it includes values to the right of that and up to positive 2 but it doesn't include positive 2 either. So we're just talking about a horizontal line right here that only exists if the x values are in between negative 2 and positive 2. That's the only place that this horizontal line exists. Let's do one more here. Just get some good steps going. Uh, it's going to be y equals 2. So we're going to have a horizontal line at 2 if if x is greater than or equal to positive 2. So starting at positive 2 on the x-axis, we're going to have a horizontal line at y equals 2. So starting here, because it includes x equals 2, we have a closed circle there. And the rest of the line exists as long as our x values are greater than 2. So as long as our line is going this way, it exists. It doesn't exist over here because that's not part of the constraints. So we got ourselves a little stair. We walk up here, walk up there. Stairs, that's a step function. Looks like steps or stairs. And it's usually when we have a bunch of horizontal lines. Alright, those are step functions. Um, so you should be able to at this point should be able to look at this and write the equations. 
Um, we know that this is a y equals negative 4 line. It's a horizontal line at y equals negative 4. But it only exists if x is less than or equal to negative 2. This is a y equals negative 2 line. But only in between, only if x is in between negative 2 and 2. So we can write that inequality. And then the last one, we have a horizontal line at y equals 2. As long as our x values are always to the right of or greater than 2. Step functions right there. Alright, so we'll continue some more in another video.